back on the field. They were counting on him for big things this week. It's second down. Brown looking left, looking right, scrambling, launching deep down the field and caught. Down inside the five into the end zone. Shantez Moss out of the backfield for the Pittsburgh touchdown. Hey, Max Brown did a nice job of he looked to the left, didn't like what he, he didn't like what he see. He bought time, and that's something that Ben DiNucci, the backup quarterback, is so very good at. Max Brown under center. Play action. And Tyner completes it to Robbie Wells, the tight end. That's just his fifth catch of the season. Do your part. 1-11th of the pot. Quick throw to the right side. Lance Wright. Right across that yellow line, and that will move the chains for the Owls. Holding it up for the backers to make plays. Nashawn Ellerby goes nowhere. And it will be third and very long coming up for the Owls. So it's basically Nashawn Ellerby and Emmanuel Asupa as their two backs they'll be riding today. Offense too much from last year to this year. Throwing down the seam, it's complete to Jordan Myers, but shy of the first down. Fourth and four coming up. And a new first down for the Panthers. Second drive of the game for Pitt. And the give to Shantez Moss, who cuts it to the outside, makes a couple guys miss before he's wrestled down by Emmanuel Ellerby. Nice. Yeah, and this is a simple counter OG play where they bring the guard around. Shantez Moss does a nice job of just being patient, letting the blocks develop in front of him. The offensive line, Brian O'Neill, they did a nice job. Alex Officer did a nice job of just caving down. 91 yards on the ground the first four weeks of the season. Brown fires deep, wide open. Jester Wee, a flag flies in. We'll see if it stands. If it does, it's a 55-yard touchdown from Brown to Wea. Panthers offense looking sharp early today. Max Brown, two touchdown bombs, pit in control. Turn to action, beat Toledo. Head coach of the Hurricanes, Mark Rick, said the fact that it cooled off was good for us because our guys were getting tired. They hadn't played in three weeks. Lance Wright catches and runs for the first down. He gains 11 to move the chains. Soccer position right now for Pitt. Tyner, Maddox coming, gets the football. Asukpa dies on top of it. Yeah, this part of the play plan on the left part of your screen, Avante Maddox, corner blitz. And you can tell when teams run this defensively, Evan, they know that they don't have any action. And yet Tyner didn't see him. Tyner on third and very long. That ball's almost intercepted. Maddox downfield this time. He sacked the quarterback for 14 yards loss. Later. Early in their career, they were just afraid of you. A lefty shovel pass. Chantez Moss has the first down and more. A 16-yard catch and run. Moss up the middle. Inside the 15, down to the 12. In this drive. Flanagan in motion. Olison takes it again. This time he scampers up the middle for a touchdown. Ten-yard spurt from Quadri Olison. Just another simple power play going up the middle. Olison following his guard, Alex Officer. Third down and eight for the Owls. Flag flies immediately, and the pass batted down at the line of scrimmage. Your local listings on your regional sports network. On a second down and short. It's all about the chunk yardage when you're trying to score. We learned yesterday that Avante Maddox had a package on offense like Jordan Freeman. This pass complete into Rice territory and another big game flag comes into the end. Rafael Arujo Lopes, one for one so far today. Brown rifles it, completes. Near the sideline, Arujo Lopes, first down, Panthers. 1,001. Under center, Brown gives it to the running Quadri Henderson. And he gets bounced out of bounds. JT Ebay is going to 
Get charged for the 15-yard penalty. Traveled Brian Stewart, coordinated defenses in the NFL for many years. Another shovel pass. This will be very close to the marker at the six-yard line. Moss again tripped up. Ball comes loose. A pile up at the two. Rice saying they have it. Destry White looked like he punched the football away from Moss. I wouldn't want to be up under that power. Rolling on the field as a fumble recovered by the defense. From the inside that the play was given. Play clock winding down. They get it off. You saw the fans thinking safety. Tyner gets rid of it and completes it. Downfield, that's Granson. The Owls. Well, it was designed to go to a rollout to the right, but Tyner didn't like what he saw. He bought a little time, came back across, made a nice completion. And a season high four catches last week. He's been hit a couple times. How about the flea flicker? The pitch back was too high. And in the backfield immediately, that's Elias Reynolds. Listen, Elias Reynolds, he does not start. But when you talk about flash players, I remember watching tape of these guys early in the week. And I remember saying, who is this number 44? He's just flying around out there. That's a big time play right there. Evan. So early, they have to still get adjusted to understanding what they have to do before adjusting. Tyner lofts it deep down field. Battle for the football, and it's ruled incomplete. Brown, now 12 of 13. Henderson coming back. He's got a slew of blockers. He ran ahead of Brown, and he'll head to the sideline at the 40-yard line, a 21-yard sprint. Not sure how that was exactly designed, but it worked out well. You would say, did, was that premeditated? Because it looked as if as soon as he caught it, he was taken off around the, the other side. That's what big time players do. They make big plays out of nothing. 11 completions, now 12 completions for Brown. He's got 236 yards. Some of them thanks to guys like Quadri Henderson. Three and a half yards per passing play so far. Around the edge, Jordan Whitehead, his first carry. The fans really appreciate getting the ball in his hands. Coach Narduzzi, their offensive coordinator, Sean Watson, talked about, we just need to give the ball to the guys who are going to make some plays. Olison came in there with a nice block. Olsen back in the game, replacing Davis. Olsen's out to the flat. The throw goes across the middle. Aaron Matthews makes a man miss, takes it inside the five. Nobody was open down the field. Rice did a nice job of taking away the deep things. And look at the convergence of all the defenders. Aaron Matthews, wide receiver, did a nice job. Of coordinator Sean Watson. They have answered some questions in the first half today. Up the middle, Chantez Moss, touchdown. Chantez Moss makes it 28 set pit. Days later, the rumors started swirling Canada to LSU. Pursuit in the backfield. LRB goes nowhere. And it'll be fourth down again. Sided on Pittsburgh, a school that's had a lot of success with graduate transfers. Pressure in the backfield, and down he goes. Zach Abercrombie, another guy who impressed you on film this week. Yeah. He plays great with his hands, but great leverage. And as you saw right here, as you see right here. Second sack, third of his career. Round pitches it, it's loose. An opportunity for the Owls. Can they jump on it? And I think Pittsburgh got it back. But the problem is, it's not so much of the guys who you expect to be the big guys catching it. Ball intercepted by DeMar Hamlin, and he'll lateral it back, and creative idea, a little risky. Avante Maddox wrestled to the ground. Last couple of
couple of years, Pittsburgh has held nine different teams under 100 yards rushing. And again, the give to Walter, speeding around the edge. He's got the first down and more down to the 31-yard line. Justin Walters come around, a convoy of blockers, doing a nice job down the field. Another speedster. Quick give this time, Jordan Myers. And Pittsburgh a little late to read that play defensively. Nice. Myers gains a dozen. Ellerby may have lost one or two. In a dozen, he will. Lofting it down the sideline, pretty throw, and the catch made by Asupa inside the five-yard line. First and goal for the Rice Owls. Understanding tendencies, they came out in the trips formation, had Asupia come out of the backfield. Tyner under center, sends Myers in motion. Myers takes the football and loses a yard. It's running around. And they're not fooled, Evan. They're not fooled. Gain tackle, and that's what it's all about. Rice looking to get on the board. Tyner's throw knocked down. Intended for Wells. Three different guys kicked for the Owls this year. And Hayden Tabola sends it through. Big third down right here, third and two. Brown fires right, completes it. Aaron Matthews makes a move down the sideline to the midfield mark. Years ago, Olison, 1,000 yards on the ground. James Conner did a bulk of the heavy lifting last year. Got to see James Conner at the Pittsburgh facility yesterday, playing with the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are on their way to Baltimore to face the Ravens tomorrow. Your paycheck, a paycheck. Oh, great penetration in the backfield. Rice getting in there. DJ Green. 49. It's continued to do it. That's the reason why they're running the football. Walter around the edge. Shy of the first down. Three Henderson do something electric in the return game. And he's going to get his first chance the second half right here. Henderson. Out to the 38-yard line. Whenever he touches the ball, you've got a chance for fireworks. Hold your breath. Quadri Henderson. He's fun. Over the years. Larry Fitzgerald, another guy who could be destined for Canton, Ohio at some point when his playing day is done. Chantez Moss loses a couple. Max Brown looking for a space to roam. He has nowhere to go, and down he goes. Anthony Ekpe. Anthony did a good job of just not giving up. Great down the field coverage, though. And why he's around and he's able to relay that to the other guys as well. Rice fakes the handoff to Whitaker, fires downfield. Nice catch made, and off to the races goes Austin Walter to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Touchdown, Owls, 70 yards. In a row, and it's an 18-point game. Tainer understands, I just needed to get it to my playmakers, and he did. Austin Walter, he did the rest. Once he caught it, great motor. Let's see what he does on this upcoming possession against the Panthers. Henderson from the goal line. He's picking up speed. Cut it back into a defender, George Nyakwal. Quarter, the lack of having negative rushing yards, that's what hurt him. Chester Wea down the sideline, going up over Justin Bickham for the catch, and just like that, the Panthers back in business. The running game is suffering because whenever you can throw it up to Chester Wea, on the one-on-one, Max Brown, you're making it look easy. Coach Narduzzi on the sideline saying, I appreciate Max Brown still sparkling numbers. He's over 300 yards now, 19 of 22. And there's another great play by Weir. Did he hang on long enough? He lost the football. It went out of bounds. 
but they're spotting it inside the two-yard line. Kicking point to be made in the film room for sure. We've seen Rice's goal line defense stand tall. Third down, play action, Brown. Touchdown. Darren Hall makes the catch by the sideline for the Panthers. Hall's first score of the season. Did Darren Hall, did he get him down? Yes. He got the first one down. And in college, that's the only thing that matters. One foot down. Building afternoon for him and for the Panthers. Jackson Tyner loops that one very high, and it's caught. Kylan Granson went up for it. Jackson Tyner did. He gave his receiver a chance, Kyle Granson, to be able to catch the ball. Big jump ball. He's 6'3", 220, going up against Dane Jackson, only six foot. And this, these are some of the things that they must do. The game. I think I had a sack, maybe a couple of tackles for a loss. Wide open man down the seam. That ball's gonna be intercepted. Dane Jackson read it like it was intended for him. And he's marked out of bounds near the 33-yard line. First down, Pittsburgh. Give his receiver an opportunity to go up for this ball. He just kind of, he overthrew it, number one. And great technique. You have to give Dane Jackson a lot of credit because he disrupted the route coming off the line of scrimmage. Game for the Owls. Max Brown back out there. Bigger part in second turnover of the game from Rice. Got back into it, made it 28-10. They're going down the field here. French on the reverse. Unable to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Went through a lot out in Southern California. Quick pass out to Arujo Lopes. That'll move the chains for the Panthers. He knew that he wanted to come in and be the player right away because he felt like he wasn't being utilized the right way. Arujo Lopes down inside the 25-yard line as Brown closing in on 400 yards on the day. Earlier, how they were top 10 in the country in terms of fewest penalties. They've only been flagged for two accepted penalties today. Another first down completion to Arujo Lopes. And there will be marked inside the 10 first and goal. Eight wins in the regular season each of the past couple of years. Brown to the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. Chris Clark falls in his first touchdown of the season. And for Max Brown, that's his fourth touchdown throw of the day. He's over 400 yards with this completion. Nice pickup by the offensive line. But great ball placement hit. Third down for the Owls. Tyner to throw. Incomplete. <laughs> Thrilling footage from Louisville last week. Danucci sends it long, and it is almost intercepted. Intended for Arujo Lopes. Then got hurt, giving Tyner a chance. No veteran quarterbacks on this Rice team. They got five guys, none of whom are juniors or seniors. And of course, the travels to Australia, the hurricane impacting so many of their players. I mean, we haven't spent a ton of time talking today about the fact that 11 different guys on the Rice Owls lost almost everything. Second down for Tyner, lofting it deep. That ball's easily intercepted. That's Dennis Briggs. Tripped up just across midfield. 